So this is a cookie investigation, but it's actually a comparative question. So the other exemplar was actually a summary question. So we're going to actually compare. So our problem is how does the median number of green hundreds and thousands on a cookie be a mini hundreds and thousands biscuit <laughs> compare with the median number of dark pink hundreds and thousands? Okay. Plan. The workbook class has already counted green hundreds and thousands, um, and the digital class, which is you, have counted uh, one biscuits each, counting the pink ones. So this is the data bit. So go into GeoGebra. That's the other class that actually counted green. So you're counting the pink. All right. 26. 21. Thank you. Twenty-five. Nineteen. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. 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 Twenty-five. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Like lot of numbers. Nineteen. Nineteen. Ten. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Twenty-three. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Forty-one. Forty-one. Lucky boy. Thirty-six. Forty-six. Forty-six. Ah, oh, interesting. That it's got the same number of data on each class. Right. I'm going to grab that, and I'm just going to go one variable analysis. Oh, can't close. Right, you weren't quick enough. 41. 41, okay. It doesn't matter when we're comparing that we've actually got two different sample sizes. Okay, one variable analysis. We're just going to look at ours. With a histogram, I was showing the other class, it depends sort of how wide you put the intervals, what the shape of the data looks like. Um, I'm actually going to look at a box plot. Hmm, interesting. Um, a dot plot. Okay, so I can add, show second plot, there we go. So I've got a dot plot and a box plot. Here I've got, the number was 27, I've got a median, I've got a standard deviation, I've got a minimum, I've got a maximum, median, sorry that was the mean, um, upper, upper quartile and lower quartile. So I've got a lot of data there. Okay. Now, what we're going to do first is actually do the box plot of our data we collected. Okay, so I want us to do that now. We've got the data in Excel, we've decided that's the minimum, 6, and we've decided that this one here is our maximum. Okay, oops, there we go. Now, these, this is just our counting number um, that's just so we can actually see what number we're up to and I'll just make sure that we're all quite large oops no a bit bigger sorry there we go okay now we need to find the middle one so if there's 27 pieces of data what's the middle one going to be 14, that's right. So this one here is our median, okay, because that's the middle one. Now how are we going to get the upper quartile? We need to, do, oh, well, let's do the lower quartile first. Because this one here has been taken out, we didn't average two middles, we actually um, used that one. We need to just consider up to number 13. So if you've got 13 pieces of data, what number's the middle? Seven, correct. Because there's six either side. So this one here is called the? Lower quarter. Lower quarter, brilliant. Impressed with you, lower quarter. And <coughs> I need to count one, two, three, four, five, 
six. What's this one going to be? Upper quartile. And one, two, three, four, five, six. So we took the middle there. So now we've got all our bits of data that we need. Now you need to draw your box plot with that data and your dot plot. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to do it really roughly here. You're going to have a properly measured um, thing in your workbooks, but just so that you've got the idea. Um, our maximum was 46, so I need to go from 0 to 50. So I'm going to go, say, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Then my minimum was 6, so I'll guess there. Then I've got a 10, then I've got a 13, then I've got a 14, then I've got a 19, a 19, a 21, a 22, 23, 23, 24, 25, 25, 25. 25, 25. My, 20, my 25 is in the wrong spot, isn't it? My scale's all wrong. So it would be a fail for me. 27, 28, 36, 41, 41. And then we've got our minimum and our maximum, our lower quartile, our median, and our upper quartile, 26. So your box plot looks something like that. It is disgustingly messy and bad scale, and that would be a not achieved Miss Allen. Okay? It's a case of do as I say, not as I do. Okay, so what you've done is drawn yourselves a box plot and a dot plot. But this investigation is actually not just one variable, it's actually two. So I grab both those columns and I do two multivariable analysis should I say. So what I've got here is stacked box plots, that's what I'm stuck with. Okay, is the box plot for the other class and the box plot for this class. And what we need to do is talk about the similarities and the differences. Okay? So it's actually going to be fun.